bigger crowd concerns. Parents perturbed by images like these. They show huge groups of students packed into a school hallway like sardines. And this is happening in Paulding County, a North Paulding High School. And we're told the district is taking steps to try to fix some of the overcrowding issues, but parents argue that there has not been a permanent fix. CBS 46's Zach Summers is in Dallas, Georgia, about 45 minutes north of Atlanta with the story. Yeah, North Paulding High is the same school that made headlines during the peak of the pandemic when photos circulated showing overcrowded hallways and little social distancing. Two years later, parents say that's still the problem. I just feel like we have the perfect storm. Tina Thompson has three students who attend North Paulding High School in Dallas. She said she often worries about their safety due to the overcrowding at the school. Kids are not able to get lockers or not able to change classes very well. There's just too many people you know, in the building as a whole. Pictures posted on social media show a jammed hallway at the school. This photo got the attention of many during the first week, students sitting in the aisle of a school bus. The district addressed the problem immediately by swapping 72 passenger buses with 90 passenger buses. They also hired more drivers and buses are no longer allowed to leave school property until every student is seated. And it produced a lot of anxiety. Thompson recognized leaders are trying, but she believes the overcrowding at the school creates a snowball effect. There are just, there's too many kids and that many kids breeds trouble, fights, you know, just sickness. Current enrollment at North Paulding High School is just under 3,000, still below the maximum capacity according to the Paulding County School District. In an email to CBS 46, a district spokesperson said, quote, the hallway photo reflects a class change or dismissal time in one of the school's narrow corridors and is not representative of the entire school building. The one-way direction greatly helps the traffic flow and the school has also implemented staggered releases for class and extended the amount of time between classes, end quote. The district is currently discussing capital improvement plans for the campus. They're given an impossible situation. Thompson says she understands the challenges, but solutions to the problem can't come soon enough. This is something that's affecting all parts of their education. In Dallas, Georgia, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News. Tonight, 